Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me for a very early start, but with good reason. I'm going to get behind the wheel of Power Slide Lovers Ferrari Monza SP2. We're here in the Dolomites in the mountains in Italy, so we're going to be heading on out to a mountain pass. And not only that, I'm going to be joining Power Slide Lover in his LaFerrari Aperta and perhaps one or two others as well. This is of course my first drive in the first iteration of the Icona series, the Ferrari Monza, in this case the SP2 the two-seater let's have a quick look around the car before we're gonna hop straight in and go out for a drive I would be lying if I said I wasn't a tiny little bit excited for what is about to happen. To go out in the SP2, joining the LaFerrari Aperta and another of Power Slide Lovers Ferraris on a mountain pass in the Italian Dolomites. That doesn't quite sound real, but I think it's about to happen. So let's have a quick look at this car, the Monza SP2. It is the first of Ferrari's cars linking back to their heritage. This new Icona series of which there will be five models. It can be had as both the SP2 with the dual seats or the SP1, which is literally a single seater. It pays tribute to some of Ferrari's legendary cars of old, the 750 Monza, the 250 Testa Rossa, and you can see that with this massively elongated bonnet that houses the six and a half litre naturally aspirated V12 derived from the 812 Superfast. So you know this is going to sound amazing as well. It is entirely rear driven, 810 horsepower, 718 newton meters through the seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. But I think the most dramatic thing is going to be driving it with no roof no windshield it has the virtual windshield where airflow comes in and fires up to deflect it away from your face but basically open to the elements so rather convenient it is looking to be a beautiful day today uh, let's have a quick look at this let's open up the bonnet which you do with the catches on each side there's one on each side so let me run around the back of the stunning gray and dark red car around here and this car is well driven as you've possibly seen from power side lovers pages it is all carbon fiber weighs 1500 kilos for the sp1 15, 20, just 20 kilos heavier for the SP2. But this is our lump, the six and a half litre naturally aspirated V12, 810 horsepower, a work of art as always, hidden away inside the full carbon fiber clam. You can see the exposed carbon on the underside. I'm gonna close this back down. It's got the painted Scuderia shields on the side of it as well, into place. Give it a press just to make sure it clicks. Come around and do the other side as well. We don't want to drive away with that still open. What else do we have? See down here, look at the styling, this elongated nose, these almost very small headlights, new design that Ferrari have across some of their cars. This is, it's a, it's a really cool thing. It is a really cool thing. It also has some luggage space, which is unusual for a limited special series Ferrari. But back here, you have some space. We've got a car cover, you've got the spec sheet as well. Again, carbon fiber, everything on this car is carbon. You can put this piece inside between the rear buttresses, which will do a slightly better job of being a wind stop. But I'm gonna close this back down and head and take a seat on board the SP2. To open the doors, you have the door pulls just inside. Give that a pull, open it up. You have these very small doors that open upwards and outwards. We've got the key inside, which says, do not go gentle. Well, I will do my best to we'll see what happens. Take a step inside the SP2 and you're sunk into, well, a fairly familiar Ferrari interior with the steering wheel with all of the controls the screens in front let's let's press the magic red button oh yes obviously we have the manatino we'll start in sport and then we'll try race mode other controls i need to get a little bit familiar with before we depart and then you've got this carbon brace that separates the driver's zone from the passenger no passenger in the car with me today just the car to be enjoyed so pull the door down in a minute, we will be heading on out to go drive this thing, looking out over this extraordinarily long bonnet, and have some fun. We're joined by an 812 GTS. We're also joined by the Pista Spider, and we're joined as well by the LaFerrari Aperta. And I'm gonna wear some glasses to make sure that I'm sure that I don't get stones pinging my face, because in this car, that is quite important. Wow, this feels weird already. Well then, um, what are we doing right now? I'm driving a Monza SP2 and I really hope that it's possible to hear me. I didn't quite know where to put the cameras in this car because it's so different to anything I've regularly driven. Um, at the moment we're in sport, we're in automatic, but it feels really odd to basically be sitting 
outside the car. You feel more, well, obviously more in a convertible than in a normal convertible because there's a lot of wind in the face. And foolishly, I have forgotten to bring sun cream, which is not ideal on a day as bright and sunny as today. But uh, I guess that's my small loss for driving this car. Um, you can press auto, like, other, like the other Ferraris. You know, everything is quite intuitive from driving 812s and my Lusso, of course, which shares a version of this engine too, as does the LaFerrari Aperta in front, one of very few of those. Of these, by the way, there are 499 in total. And um, Ferrari allow customers, oh, we start stop start as well. Ferrari allow customers to choose. Yes, yes, and a lot of yes. Ferrari allow customers to choose if they want the SP1 or the SP2. Um, and then obviously it will be just, the split and distribution will be down to what customers order. Um, the shifts are so sharp and you have to remember I'm coming into this with the 812 Superfast and the 812 GTS basically as my favourite production cars in the world and this is a limited version of those so you can expect I'm probably going to enjoy this and looking at the line in front of me I'm already beaming from ear to ear because this is quite frankly ridiculous what we're doing as we head out towards the passes GTS at the front, followed by the Pista Spider, followed by the Aperta, and we've all got the roofs open. Yes. One thing that I do need to do though is to pull out my zip because it is really windy, and although it's very sunny, it's still a little bit early in the morning at the moment. Right. <laughs> oh wow, feels a little bit windy in here. This is going to be quite a, uh, an intense driving experience. A little bit of traffic, but to be honest, going a touch slower in this car is no hardship. Do you know what I'm going to do? Oh, that snap on downshift into neutral. <laughs> oh, we've got some fair old traffic ahead. This isn't ideal. We've got some sections of road to enjoy in a moment, though, so... Let's catch up with the left Ferrari. Okay, let's put it into race. The shifts get even sharper and more dramatic and more traffic. We need to get to the proper bit of road where we're heading. Wow, I've got slightly watering eyes. I guess that's not hugely surprising considering I'm driving a completely open car like this, even though I've got glasses on. And to be honest, I might look a little bit stupid, but when you're here, it doesn't matter when you're driving in a monster. <laughs> just, just realization moment of what's actually happening in the monster behind the Aparta. This is, um, this is driving perfection. This car is absolutely awesome. Listen to this. You feel it all the way through you. The V12 noise echoing off everything you go past. I feel like this could potentially be a drive where my face gets obliterated with stones firing up off the tires of the cars in front. Um, if that happens, it's life. It was worth it because this is epic.
I'm just beaming from ear to ear. Your face goes through some interesting feelings <laughs> and emotions, slippy tarmac. But I don't really, um, I don't really know what to say. This is pure automotive heaven. And then if you go one more, CT off, this car will start to slide just a little bit around. Oh, we've got all the cows here. me. This is one of the coolest driving experiences ever in the Monza SP2 following the LaFerrari Aperta. It must be quite funny how much my face deforms under acceleration and from the wind. It reminds me of Jeremy Clarkson and the Atom. I'm sure everyone knows that. One of the craziest things though is how much fun you can have without going insanely Mach 10. And we're pulling up for a quick rest. <laughs> I, I can't stop smiling. It's just... <laughs> what is this? As cool experiences go, this... <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Driving with this little gathering of the four cars together. Obviously the Pista Spider, the hardcore version of the 488, the LaFerrari Aperta, the ultimate LaFerrari, I guess you could say, the limited Aperta convertible version, Aperta being the Italian word for open, the Monza SP2 in all of its heritage and glory and sound, and then the new 812 GTS as well, the GTS, the convertible version of the 812 Superfast. And here I am driving today in this thing. Just look at it, obviously it's carbon everything, carbon backed seats, finished with the four-point harnesses I've been driving with the harness on you've got this floating mirror coming out of the central tunnel I don't know how to really refer to it obviously these are cut out uh, it's a support beam in the center but cut uh, where weight savings can be made the passenger does get a little windshield which is quite nice overall and you can of course have the air conditioning blasting hot air out at you the buttresses behind with the rollover protection that kind of thing the doors I find these doors quite fascinating and intriguing as well small things that just open even here carbon sill plaque and the car just this thing you've got the dual screens um, how you control them through the toggles here to adjust the different modes launch control reverse auto climate control you've even got a reversing camera as well if you need one um, when parking this oh that's quite nice sp2 limited edition on the buttress behind but this is um this is this is this is one of my favorite driving experiences this has very quickly gone to the top of the list of quite simply epic things to experience on the road. Power side lover, legend, thank you. Um, yeah, and we're not, even, we're not even finished yet. It's time to go again. That was the LaFerrari Aparta starting up. That means belts and harnesses back on. I've taken off my jacket because it's now quite a lot hotter, which I hope I'm not going to regret. So let's start this up as well and get ready to go. I've got the lift system up to go out over the bump here. I think all is fine if the LaFerrari can do it. This should be able to do it. Lift system back down, out of auto, onto the paddles. Feeling much more open to the elements right now, more than before. Put it up and CT off. driving a Ferrari Monza SP2 on a convoy up a mountain pass following a LaFerrari Aperta and somehow that seems to be what we're doing. Some of these hairpins are a bit tighter than others. <laughs> Has to be said that the view here 
is pretty extraordinary. This is the road I drove up and down quite a few times filming before. Past the cows, plenty of hikers and cyclists. And again with a screaming V12 with a line of insane Ferraris in front. I mean, this is, this is heaven. I tell you what the downside is though, in the line of cars being closer to the La Ferrari, my face is getting peppered with stones. And that's not much fun, believe me. I'm glad I'm wearing glasses. I should not wear this car without some glasses on your face. Certainly not on any kind of road that might have uh, stones or anything that will fly up in your face. But, um, I mean, I don't mind. Even driving slowly behind traffic, it's all good when you're inside something like this. It is all absolutely perfect. You can use the sighting lines down the mountain to overtake. <laughs> it's perfect. This is so perfect. Even though my face is taking a beating. Oh, I just love the feel of Ferrari downshift. In fact, I love the feel of everything to do with this car. Watching the spoiler as well on the lap Ferrari going up and down. It's so quick as well. 810 horsepower, 150 kilos or so lighter, obviously, than the 812. So you'd expect it to be a uh, quick point to point machine, and it very much is. <laughs> Stone on my face then. <laughs> Tell you what, everything must feel and look like a million miles per hour in here just because of how open it is and how it feels. I tell you, it certainly feels like it's going about a million miles per hour. My ears are actually popping from descending as well right now. Yeah, uncontrollable face movements when you accelerate, when you're moving, opens the elements are very much a thing. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that of all of the good days, this is a really, really good day. And in fact, I feel very lucky because it's my second time out here driving these roads in a convoy of Ferraris. Actually, it's my third time out here driving these roads in a convoy of Ferraris. And every one has been spectacular. This is no different. This is, you know what? I'm glad we got up and started this day when we did. It's got so much busier now. It's about half past nine in the morning. We started about half past seven. to drive. I'm slightly concerned how much the Monza is jumping to the top of one of my favourite cars lists, given how much I like the 812. Now don't get me wrong, this is not a highly usable car. It's a car for occasions like today, when the weather is absolutely spot on and I mean this once every now and then to enjoy. Absolutely loving it. 
honestly. This is a perfect day of driving. Now that we're coming back into town, obviously things get a little bit calmer. My ears can take a break from the wind going by the face from all of the different faces I've been making along the way. The views around here are breathtaking. And I'm driving in a Monza and I'm loving it. In the right place. This car. Now the sound through town streets, particularly at the La Ferrari. Ah, oh, the streets are alive with the sound of V12s as we're coming through. And I feel completely open. This is actually quite maybe even a little bit too much especially with my funky glasses I've got on. Oh, piece of spider doing the roof. I can't do that. I've got to just be uh, open and, and brave it. That Ferrari has a target top roof that's left at home. Honestly, this has been one of the best driving days ever. This car is magnificent. Power Slide Lover is an absolute legend. The weather, the scenery, the location, the gathering, the group of friends. It can't get any better. It could not get better at all. The sun is now out in force, but considering how busy it was getting, it was right to get up quite so early. But just look at this thing, the Monza SP2, parked now in the bright sunshine. The profile side-on view of this, the silhouette of it, it's so low. Even the buttresses sit incredibly low. Not having a roof line gives it this awesome appearance. There are other cars that have done this format, obviously the SLR Sterling Moss, and more recently the McLaren Elva and the Aston Martin V12 Speedster. But the combination for me of this naturally aspirated V12 that sound, the Ferrari dynamics and feeling. Obviously it incorporates all of their latest technologies in terms of slip slide control, traction, everything that it has, and it just makes the most incredible driving experience. It's really cool to look at as well. There are very few body panels actually on the exterior. The whole really large clam with both of the buttresses, the bumper, the bonnet, this whole piece, just one very, very large bit of carbon fiber. This thing, I mean, just sitting here, the grey paintwork wouldn't normally, you know, I'd normally go for a bright spec, but this is a historical livery made with the matching red stripes to the driver's side buttress, and my word, my word. It also has really large wheels. I'd almost forgotten that. It has 20 at the front and 21 at the rear. I think first time Ferraris have put a 21 on their cars, which obviously give it even more of a modern look. And yeah, just, 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 yeah, I don't really know what else I can, I can say. This experience has been absolutely out of this world. So a huge thanks to Powerside Lover. If you aren't following him already, link in the description down below. Do go check out his page for more fun with this car and some of the others in the collection. Today has been a dream. One I'm not gonna forget in a hurry. So thank you very much for watching guys. I appreciate your support as always, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers. Just realized a funny thing you might have noticed. At the checkpoint, I did manage to find some sun cream, which means my face has got covered in dirt. It was worth it though, I don't care. This car was so good. Just a funny side effect of driving the SP2. That's it though, thanks again guys. Cheers.